The Queens of Ours is next. This is a one mile and six furlong group. Three for three year olds. Used to be two miles. Dropped down to one mile six to make it a true St. Ledger trial. And one or two of these trainers like one of their classic, especially the one at the top, Paul Rhodes. He's got Alexandra Palace. That'll be worth keeping an eye on. Noble Elf for Craig Beckwith. Tick of the clock, Joshua Sutherland. Uni Light for Craig Allen. Co Corner Festival for David Robertson. Joyrider for Dan Hughes. Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson. Superstar for Paul Rhodes. And Yellow River for Martin Leadham, so nine then in this one a mile and three quarters around the Ascot track, good test for the St Ledger, although to be honest the St Ledger course isn't as stiff as this and away they go and Lakeland Highlands probably just about the first to show and they sort themselves out through the first furlong, Lakeland Highlands is probably just the leader from Tick of the Clock, Superstar Noble Elf, uh, Yellow River is close, it's three greys in this as well today, the Yellow River is the one in the purple and white stripes. The David Robertson turquoise and um, maroon hoops belong to Kakorna Festival, and the one all in blue is Joy Rider. So there you get three greys, but it's superstar for Paul Rhodes, who's six lengths clear at the moment and trying to become one. We have the Yellow River in second. Kokorna Festival is third. Noble Elf on the inside is fourth. Then comes Ticket the Clock, and then Union Light, and then comes Lakeland Highlands with Alexandra Palace and finally Joy Riders. So they're racing down towards the final mile and a quarter already. And Superstar has opened up by a good eight lengths. And it might take some catch in this one with Tick of the Clock in second. Kakorna Festival is in third. Then Alexandra Palace, Noble Elf. Then comes Yellow River and then Joy Rider and Unilight at the back. But it's Superstar, who's eight lengths clear as they race down towards the final mile. With Alexandra Palace in second, Kakorna Festival on the inside of that one is third. Then Tick of the Clock and Lakeland Highlands, then Noble Elf. Yellow River just tucked in behind them. Uni Light's going to be trapped on the inside, going to need a little bit of a split. Join Rider looks like it's going to come come around the outside of the pack. Uni Light's jockey doesn't know where to go at the moment. He's rolling around all over the place. But it's Superstar who's now eight lengths clear as they race past that seven furlong point there. They're into the six and a half furlong point there. And it's Superstar who's eight lengths clear of Alexandra Palace in second. Then comes Noble Elf and Ticket O'Clock, a corner festivals after that one. One or two of these pulling really wide now. Yellow River and Joy Rider. Unilight might get a good split up the inside of his patient, but it's Superstar in the lead from Noble Elf in second. Five furlongs to go in the Queen's Vars. Superstar still clear, but only by five. Noble Elf is second. Then comes Ticket O'Clock, Lakeland Highlands, a corner festival and Yellow River. Then Joy Rider, Alexandra Palace hit a bit of a flat spot. Unilight is now getting that dream run up the inside, but it's still Superstar in front. Super Superstar only by three though, as they now make the turn towards home, and Superstar's in front but only by two, here comes Kakorna Festival to ground the outside, then Noble Elf, Tick and O'Clock, Lakeland Highlands, Union Rivers after that one, and Yellow Rivers trying to run on, Alexandra Palace has switched to the inside, but it's Superstar in front, two and a half furlongs to go, Superstar's led all the way, here comes Kakorna Festival, Noble Elf and Lakeland Highlands, Union Light, Tick and O'Clock trying to get into it, Joy Rider, and Yellow River trying to come round the outside, but it's still Superstar, Superstar still in front, less than a full of an half to go. Superstar being pressed by the corner festival. Then comes Lakeland Highlands. Noble Elf, Uni Lights now got a clear run. Then second o'clock, Yellow River trying to run on, but it's the corner festival inside the final half. Full of the corner festival is pulling away from Lakeland Highlands and another one by David Robertson. The corner festival takes it from Lakeland Highlands second. Then Uni Light, Noble Elf, and Superstar and Alexander Palace. And all the way back to Joy Rider and David Robertson has taken another one. And Kakorna Festival with Lakeland Highland second. Uni Light got a clear run through in the end third. The Craig Beckwith horse ran really well, well to be fourth. And the early leader dropped right out of it. So Kakorna Festival for David Robertson, the winner. Lakeland Highlands for Darren Thompson, second. Uni Light for Craig Allen, third. Noble Elf, Craig Beckwith, fourth. And Superstar, the long time leader for Paul Rhodes, was fifth.